Hello, this is Jill Scheidt, Barton County Agronomy Specialist with University of Missouri Extension. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to identify corn earworms apart from other worms. So um, corn earworms usually feed on the top of the ear. As you can see right here, I peeled back an ear and I found some here feeding on just the tip of the ear. Um, corn earworms usually only feed on the tip and so therefore they don't cause much of yield damage because those kernels on the tip usually don't pollinate very well anyway. Um, Wayne Bailey, the state entomology specialist with University of Missouri Extension, estimates that there's less than a 1% yield loss from corn earworms in field corn. There's no threshold level for corn earworms because usually they are very hard to spray for. It's uneconomical because um, you have to do several sprays and it's very hard to get that insecticide down in the husk. So a way you can identify corn earworm is as you can see here on this corn earworm, they can be many different colors. They can have stripes or no stripes. But if you see on this corn earworm, he has a lot of black dots all over his body on the yellow one here. And that is how you can tell a corn earworm apart from the other. And you can see this other one moving here. He has stripes on him, which is normal too, but you can also see the black dots on him. Um, other worms, larvae like um, army worms, they won't have these black dots all over them. And they can be all different colors, all different sizes, but just pull back the ear and you'll see some of this brown or white colored frass, which is their droppings. That's another way to identify them. Um, the way to tell the difference also in feeding between, you know, a corn earworm or a fall or true armyworm is that corn earworm will only feed on the tips of the ear. If you find some feeding further down in the kernel uh, or on the cob that's, you know, in a straight line following the line of the kernels that maybe starts, um, you know, further back here in the ear, that would be indicative of true armyworm or fall armyworm feeding. And uh, the best ways to protect against corn earworm is early planting. The earlier you plant, the um, sooner the silk can be out and the corn earworm moths will not lay, not get a chance to lay their eggs on the green silks of the corn. Um, you can also select different varieties of corn, um, maybe a variety, a BT variety with corn earworm resistance, or you can select your varieties of corn based on their husk tightness. So some ears will have tighter husks. And that is how you scout for corn earworm in corn.